for episode number 64 of the Optic Podcast. Special guest today, our teammate from another state. <laughs> Give me some. That was fire. Teammate. She state. literally like lives in oh, Texas. Oh, I'm from another city. <laughs> from, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Sheila, also known as Pterodactyl. Um, we'll ask you why in a little bit. Ashley, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. Right One of my favorite people to do podcasts with. And Nick yeah, Maniac yeah. Kirshner, the funniest person I've ever met without trying to be funny. These are facts. Yeah. I, I uploaded a video today where you slapped me, and those weren't even the rules. Oh, that was the one? Yeah. The whipped cream one? Yeah. That was but a good I, one. But I will say this. Have you, ever, have you ever seen a, a leaning tower of Jenga the way that ours did? Nah. If you look at it, it's, it's like this. Like, if you look at it from the side, it's like this. Like, there's wind, but there's not. Yeah. Pretty much. It's, gonna, it's falling, but it's not. It's yes. like... It's like it's oh, okay. Have you ever seen a drunk person that, that that looks like he's gonna fall but he never falls? Yes. Like people that like <laughs> Matrix. Me. Matrix. Have you done that? I've never seen you. I think so. I've like never seen you that drunk like ever. Like I've never seen you drunk. I've never seen you I drunk. I fall. I just fall. Do you? you just That's collapse. you give into it. My brother gave me a trick once. He said when you ever when if you ever get too drunk that when you lay down like the room spinning, the easiest thing to do is to just give into it. Just like. Really? And you, you, you I like trying to put my uh, foot on the floor. You black out. I just puke thinking of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you literally black out if you give into it. My brother says, like, just give into it. Don't don't try to fight it. Just give into it, and you're going to pass out. And I you'll fight it every time. I fight throwing up. I fight the spins, and I win no, never fight, all the time. Never fight puking. Every time. Never fight puking. <laughs> ever, I... ever, ever, Um, Let me see if I can bring it you have a video? here. Look at that. Oh wow! Are they gonna that's put impressive, this up huh? on screen? That is, yeah. Put this up on screen, okay, Joe? That's, that's the drunk guy leaving the bar, yeah. waiting for his Uber. Yeah, he's like almost, almost hurting. Um, Sheila, you live in Austin? Yes. How hot is it over there in comparison to here? More humid, hotter? More humid. Same, same heat though. It's awful. All of it's awful. I hate Texas. Do you really? Where, where are you originally from? New York. I don't like New York. I won't I say I hate it. LA. I thought it, I, li- I moved from New York to LA for a few years. Okay, where have you lived? Because I'm confused. Yeah, you've been like everywhere. Uh, I'm born and raised in New York. Okay. Until I was 23. Moved to San Diego. Then to LA within a few months. Lived in LA for about four years and then moved to Texas. Why did you move to Texas? Because it's cheaper. And LA sucks. LA, yeah. I liked LA. The food in LA is great. Everything else. Not better sucks. than Texas, 100%. Yes, it is. How? What, what part? Koreatown. Okay. Asian food. Okay. Delicious. Okay. Touche. Right, back up. Miss I, Korea in New York, have you been? No, actually. Miss Korea in New York is my go-to. Any anytime I go to New York, I make it a point to start to stop there. I'm from upstate, like in the country, though, so I wasn't from. So you're not really from New York. Okay. Nah. It's like it's like it's like us saying that we were from Chicago when we were from <laughs> from Fakington, <laughs> Barrington, Illinois. It was fire. How nice was that house? It was nice. Did you know nice. that we are that there's a there's a lawsuit against me? From the people that owned the house. No. Yeah, I, I did you know did that. Know I'm that. surprised you're Wait, saying what? that. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do know. He, he knows, right? Nah, for chat. what? Yeah. For it's, the, maybe it's not a lawsuit, but they're. I might they're, not have saw it. They're pissed. Just, purposely? Like a year later, they're pissed. Yeah, they are mad. Why? Well, because they, they finally like went through, like removed all the walls in the, in the garage. That wasn't an, an issue. The issue was the carpeting, the floors. So let's let, I mean, let me that's ju- on the maids. Let me just no no no. It's not, <laughs> no it's not. They did a party there. Uh, first of all, uh, I, I'll tell you what. When I got those figures, I was not surprised. Like when they said you you owe. Now mind you, this is thirty thousand dollars on top of the sixteen Damn. to seventeen Dude, that yeah. we put down as a that's as a security like deposit. They're building a whole. They have to refloor everything if it's that much. Yeah. Well, think about the house, right? It's a yeah. it's a it's a Massive. super uppity house. Almost as nice as the one that I live in now. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it's like, it's crazy. When when I saw the figures and I saw an itemized thing, like Will's floors, you know, where he where he played video games, obviously, like him going back and forth on oh, the yeah. chair, mm. stepping, like grinding his feet on the on the on the red oak floors that they had there. That Pomage, when when the booster board or another booster, the hoverboard came into play, he would continuously run into the pillars or the platform of the pillars and chip off corners. I remember seeing that, like when I visited, I was like, those are messed up. We had like three to four commercial shoots in there, which had like how many product like production people would come in there? It was a lot. It was probably like 
probably 15 to 30 15 to 30 people would come in and they would they would set up outside in the garage and then they would create this sort of like they'd be everywhere they yeah they they'd have uh, speakers microphones uh anyway the whole th- so those people would come in with massive lights screw shit into the ceilings screw shit into the walls lightning fixtures the whole thing we had dr disrespect there uh for the for the last one and that was the most the biggest one because they had like a buffet in the garage and anyway it was massive downstairs the carpet disgusting i mean think about the amount of beer pong that was played down there think about the amount of lands that were out down there the the amount of 24-hour live streams uh that we did down there uh smooth competitions that we did down there um upstairs the fl- the, the the walls were disgusting <laughs> do normal people like not have to deal with that what do you mean normal like, people if it was just a regular family living in that home mm-hmm. and then they moved out like the carpets wouldn't be no messed up. like we were really that bad yeah really really bad that's why and, and people wondered why I bitched. Right. Anyway, so I texted that thing. I'm like, yo, I'm not paying for this. You guys are paying for that. Yeah, what do you I didn't see that. I mean, I wasn't there. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't really I read it and I was like like I could see why you're pretending you, you didn't see it. I, <laughs> I swear I didn't see it. The thing is it's like you know, when you divide, you know, thirty thousand dollars between ten people, it's not as it's like three thousand dollars a pop. Well, you got a will, you like they wrote down specifics. Yeah. So or they did. They like Will's named floor. rooms. They were like, "This guy's no, floor we're, we're is we're not. We but no, I, that's that's what I the, the list oh. that I made in my head when I left. Like your like mental check. Yeah. Of, like, I mean, think about check. the amount of pranks that people did in that house. The amount of it was not fun. Anyway, it was. Yeah, be, uh, think about the grass outside. Think about like we didn't respect that place. Well, it's not. Yeah. It, well, it's not but that. Then we couldn't. No, it's not. It's not that. But think about the amount of eggs and pumpkins that were thrown at our house. You know, that adds on stuff to it, too. Get those kids. Ru- get them all. They'll pitch in. Yeah, the, the thing, and the, the reason I love Texas so much is because it's a different way of life down here. People people are raised differently. The same amount of, you know, the same kids that grew up where I grew up. So this is friendly fire, okay? So don't be offended if you're from Illinois, okay? Or particularly the northwest suburbs. Little punk kids, <laughs> literally, like, it, it, the type of kids that would, would have pissed themselves as they would have seen me running after them if I heard the fucking egg hit the window. On your boosted board? No, just <laughs> literally just a, a 210 pound Mexican gorilla coming at them, just angry. You know? Who did they egg the most? The house. They didn't even care. I think it was always Seth. Mike? No, it wasn't. Seth lived in the basement in the theater room. Well, no, the upset, his old room. Oh, <clears throat> uh, Crim Six room. Oh, yeah. Who that lived was in prob- there? Who lived in that room? It was Crim, Seth, and Davis. Crim, yeah, yeah, Crim, Seth, Davis. I don't think I ever got egged. Which is weird because... Homage got egged, too. Yeah. How do they know? I think everyone did. Like, directionally, the windows. We filmed so much out of there that if, you're, if you watch enough, like, is that... You're, like, stalking And it wasn't eggs. even, like... They were just doing it to be... Like, like I, get, I get the pranks, man, but over and over again? Like, I would understand if it was a different set of kids. It's not even unique. And then the little punk bitch kid... <laughs> Literally goes into my stream and is like, hey, man, sorry I egged your house, dude. Nah, like, that wasn't him. Nah, look, whether it was him or not, I, <laughs> I, I banned him. I didn't give a <laughs> shit. It, I was, I was, the, the only thing I could do at that point is, is that. Anyway, so, yeah, so it's taken care of. Obviously, we, we came to an agreement and it's, it's blah, blah, blah. They don't have to do nothing. You didn't even see it, so I, don't, I, I shouldn't have brought it up. Were you nervous when I just said that? No. Do you believe it, though? That, that that's, Your room was actually not, uh, not on the list. Of course, it, why would it be? <laughs> it was the cleanest room in the house. Uh, I think who had the cleanest room? No one. Mike. Oh, Mike. Uh, obviously, one hundred percent. Yeah, Mike's obviously. like super clean. Even anyway, Sheila, you haven't now. said anything. Let's let's get back to you and the importance of your. Let's of talk your about the unfairness of female gamers okay, in the relax, gaming world. Relax. Gamergate. Was it, is that is that what that was? What. Was that Gamergate? <coughs> I don't, I don't even know, bull- to be honest. Bully like, oh, that's not I don't, even oh, wait, yeah, I do that. remember the reading about that. I'm just trying to think of something to piss people off to type I, in the comments. I uh, I heard about it after, like, two months after the fact had happened. Somebody, I don't know who it was I was talking to. They're like, yeah, yeah, uh, something about Bully Hunters. I'm like, what the fuck is Bully Hunters? You know? Isn't that where the, I don't, I didn't read enough about it, but I'm pretty sure it was, like, a group of chicks that you could, like, call them or something i don't know you would like fill out a question wait do you know i don't you know? okay I, okay like, I, you, I read like I three read tweets about it, about it but i just didn't want to wait what is it? it it's like these 
I don't know if someone was like like let's say she's playing CS:GO and someone on her team or something's like griefing her, like effing everything up, screwing up the game. She could be like, "Yo, bully hunters, I'm being bullied," <laughs> and, then, and then they'd be like, "Oh my God, Sheila, we got you!" And then they would like, I don't know what they do. Do they harass the, the person? The person? They, no, they would like they get into the, the game person. and like, like they would get on the other team and then like kill them and be like, "Serves you right, bully guy." And then the what, guy probably it was all like stage and stuff, like what they yeah, had. yeah. It sounded it was, like fake. show. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Uh, get out of it. Was it like that? There was a video? There was video yeah, somewhere? Yeah, so. there's a video. I, there was like two tweets and a video, and I was like, I can't absorb any more of this right now. I have to not. It sounds about cringe. This. Yeah, it's, it, it was. But Crim- yeah, Girl Gamer is it's, it's super hard. It's really hard. I was just thinking about this the other day, actually. Like, every time I've been like interviewed, they always ask about that. And I like, I get it, and I'll talk about it, but I don't really think of it as a big deal. Like, I just mesh with you guys, and then, like, I was going to mention, this is, like, the first time we've had, like, two chicks. <laughs> we have actual equality on the podcast right now. Mm-hmm. That's equality, crazy. you equality. mean. Equality, that's what I said. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I said that? Yeah. You said that. You okay. said it, and I agree with it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Welcome. Um, so let's start uh, quickly. Your name, Sheila yes. Pterodactyl. Yes. How and why? Um, truly, honestly, I don't know. I grew up liking dinosaurs as a little girl, and then pterodactyls were my favorite one. I made an AIM account so I could go on 4chan. Wait, what was your AIM screen name? My first one was Pretty Little Rave Girl. Mine was I'm a Wet Rag. Really? Mine was Say Hey to Your Mom for Me. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. And then I made it pterodactyls. Started early, huh? I have a second one. You knew. (laughs) I knew. (laughs) 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 I knew, bro. (laughs) Are they per pterodactyl? Yeah, for the second one, and then just that stuck with me since I was little. How yep. many? How many people say Patero ev- every me. day? Do you I, know I, I say it. I felt joke. so dumb. Every like game P-tero. that I play, they're like, "Hey, P pterodactyls," and I'm like, mm, "Yep, uh, just we'll go with it." That was me. Or Peter dactyls. What did you say? P Tero. I say yeah. like I, don't know, I say I hope that the people are just trolling. I, I'm trolling. Like, like I have I, have if to, I, I, if I mention I you to believe. someone, I'm like, I yo, I gotta go pick up P. Pterodactyl before I shoot. And they're like, why don't you just say Sheila? I'm like, cause I freaking like saying P. Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if we played video games, like let's say a week of Oldman of Optic with you, Sheila, I think by the end of it, we would call you Peter. <laughs> That's yeah. People call me Peter. Taro. Taro. P- Peter. 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 Yeah. They'll call you Peter. They, they so you just had that. an affinity for dinosaurs, mm-hmm. and you're like pterodactyls the one. If 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 is that I, a pterodactyl? I, I, no, yeah, do you have no, a pterodactyl a raven. tattoo? Oh, yeah, that's that's yet. a guy from Spy vs. Spy. No, <laughs> that is the, that's, um, what you might call it. The any plague from like doctor. Cartoon Network or something? No, no, he's plague doctor. <laughs> Thank you. Who? It's the plague doctor. But from like you've never seen like a like skin like doctor. that, like. Mm-hmm. He Google Plague Doctor, put it on the screen. Thanks, Joe. Joe, you're the man. It's like this He's doctor like that would wear like this crazy like crow looking mask and like I don't know. Well, from That's where though? What universe? What like from the real from world? Real like it was times, eighteen hundreds or Plague some times. shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Google it. It looks so cool. definitely not from Spy vs. Spy. Nope. You're familiar though with Spy vs. Spy? Uh, I feel like that might the be the name's what I'm familiar, of. but I can't remember it. Right like now. Spy vs. <laughs> Spy is is like this. Oh, it's like the little with the really yeah, with the really yeah. pointy. It's like it's a, it's a it's a a dressed in white spy versus a dressed in black spy, yeah, yeah. and then they're always like pranking each other yeah, or sabotaging each other. Of. Is it? Mm. Everyone says it looks like Reaper from Overwatch. Mm. No. Did you ever play? I don't know how much Advanced Warfare you played, but they had like a Plague Doctor skin. Advanced in Warfare. It, in Advanced Warfare, yeah, it was sick. Which one's Advanced Warfare? The oh, I played packs. a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I played a lot like, of it. Yeah, it's like it was kind of like a later Bad skin one? though. It was like a leathery, crow mask looking guy. It's cool. I played. I used to use the tumor one. Well, it looks like a tumor, but it was actually like a like roots, like a tree root guy. Like Groot. Yeah, like Groot. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I used. They had like dope skins. They the did. The order. optic one, the those optic person. Ones. The optic one was the Dude, best when one. They, when you asked me for my gamer tag one day, I was like, okay. And then I had like a white optic, like super rare, like 21 skins yeah. ever made or whatever in the game. I felt like the coolest person yeah. in the world. So everybody got skins and mm-hmm. sins. What, what, what was the... There was a white one that we got, and then there was a black version that like went in supply drop. Something happened to where I was, I was able to convince... Uh, the corporate overlords at Activision that we needed it or 
that we needed white ones for for our team. I don't I don't remember what it was, but anyway, we we had like twenty one white exoskeleton suits with optic, and then the other ones were, were not. I almost said it. Only the only the Call of Duty pro team gets them, but I was just like, forget that. I need it. So if I yeah, get it, then I everybody gonna else is gonna have it. So I asked people for the for the gamer tags, and then we we added it on. Um, video games. What when did you start, and what what like video game did you start playing on? Because uh, you play Counter Strike now, primarily. Yeah, I play Counter Strike now. That's uh, M forty A O three from Call of Duty. Oh no, it's a. That's the op. That's Hector. the op. Oh. Why is it? What's it called? The op. I never asked. Yeah. What Nick's is well. it? What does op stand for? It stands uh, for something. Uh, don't I don't even know. Hold she got on. okay. Well, uh, it's called Op Guys, and she has the tattoo. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> we'll cut out that I don't know it. AVP. It's automatic maybe weaponry pterodactyl sh- gun. Ooh. Or maybe it's yes. just op. advanced weaponry pterodactyl. Maybe it's just yeah. A short name. That's why they named it like for you. Yeah. It's for the. Uh, why is this not? We have like bad service the in op? here. Why does it say Arctic Warfare Police? Okay. I feel like this is not correct. Did you do, type in CS op? Go, what it means? And, and if you know what it what it gun. if you know what it means, type it here and tweet it at us. No, uh, no, because I don't know. We just pretend that we know what it means. No, I mean, look, it's an op. If somebody op told me, like, gun. what does the Car ninety eight stand for, or what is? I would. Do you know, know what AK stands for? The Alishnikov? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of knew, like when, like before you said it, I was like. I don't even know if that's the right name for oh, it. Oh, it's not. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. What he said? That yep. Alishikov. Alishikov. I, I, when it's I said it, gun, I didn't even know they had sure. like, names. I thought they have guns. A- Joe, is it the Alishnikov? The what do you know about guns? <laughs> Poor Joe. He shot him once, he, he says. I mean, uh, <laughs> wonder what the M48 3 means. Like, what does that mean? I know BR. Battle, Battle rifle? rifle? Wow. We all do, Nick. Anyway, so go on. Uh, so yeah. I've been playing games since I was born, pretty much. My mom and my dad both played my Nintendo 60, or no, the, the Super Nintendo is older than I am. The one that my family Older? Owns. Uh, 27. Okay. But uh, I've just been playing ever since I was little. Uh, my parents both did, and they got me every console, PlayStations, you know, GameCubes, N64s, Segas. So I've just playing ever since I was a little, little child. Okay, when you, when you said this is... This is going to be what I do for a living. Oh, that was an accident. Okay. That was not what I was... That was not my plan. I just loved it. I was passionate about it. About what? Video games. I know, and but which... What What? what like did it what, for like you? What game... He's asking, like, what game made you realize, like, oh, streaming. Oh, you can get revenue from this? Like, um, what it, was That it wasn't you? even really the plan either. I was a League of Legends player for a while. Um, I played it for about five years, and I got really into... Uh, that's when the first game I learned about esports. Mm-hmm. Um, League of Legends. Yes, and I found there was like pro players, and they would stream the games, and I was really interested in watching. This is back on like owned and Justin TV, back and watching um, pros play, and just like, you know, learning from them. And I met people through the League of Legends community who were just like, "Well, why don't you stream? You know, you're decent at League of Legends. Like, we'd like to watch you." And I what was like, role? "I was an AD carry and a jungler." Don't support. stop. <laughs> <laughs> God, this this is what women face in the video game industry. We're all supports I kid, to these I men. Kid. Um, I, was that is that a, a real joke? Yeah. I mean, it's natural. It's like they were like, okay, girl, go be the healer now. Like play. yeah, like yeah. Overwatch. Oh, it's a Mercy main it's a girl. Girl plays Mercy. But yeah. um, so I started it just for fun, and I just was playing, and my friends were watching me, and I already had like a few viewers just when I started. But I immediately switched to Counter Strike because I was getting really stale and bored of uh, of League. So I was playing CS, realized I was pretty good at it, and my following just kind of blew up from that, and it just became a, a career. I was like, oh, I make more money doing this than I do waitressing. So why would I waitress? Yeah. And you when, know, when Counter Strike was like experiencing that little blow up uh, a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. is that when you started yes, it? Or? I think so. It okay. was like right when it was getting popular again. I mean, it's been around for yeah. forever. It like um, blew up out of nowhere, almost such uh, a like but old global game. offensive. Yeah, blew up again. Um, the skins. Bro- Right, well I remember I seeing pro player salaries <laughs> go from twenty five hundred to twenty five thousand dollars in oh, the yeah. span of fucking five months. Dang. And I'm like, whoa, time out, time out, time <laughs> Chill. out. Chill. Anyway, but go on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, and then it was just uh, just 
started happening. Um, and I was a big fan of um, Team Dignitas as a League of Legends team. And I was like the – they knew who I was as a person. And they – like everyone's like, well, why don't you get sponsored by them if you're such a big fan? And within, I think, two to three months of streaming, they sponsored me. And I got my sub button. And then they were like, oh, hey, if you do stuff for our sponsors, we can give you money. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like you're going to pay me to yeah. just play video games? And it just turned into that, and I grew, and uh, now I'm on a better mm. In the, on the best team. Yeah, on the I was, best I was team. waiting for him to Wait, say it. Time out. I know that he's. How's that even a comparison? No offense, but I mean, <laughs> uh, look at the numbers. But we can't be. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, um, anyway, uh, what th- you've been doing <laughs> it for just probably as long as I have. Forever. I think you started when I started. Yeah, I did. Like 2010 is yeah. when I started like uploading. And I saw, I, funny enough, I saw like Hutch videos, mm-hmm. Sandy Ravage videos. I was like, that looks dope. I could do that. What I love most about my position and my place in the whole place is that I get to be friends with people that I was a big fan of from yeah. the beginning. Oh, it was which super is like, surreal. It's crazy, right? Like I still to this day, I call Hutch my teammate. Yeah. And he's one of the best like entertainers, in my opinion, ever. One of the best. If, if I could do a podcast with him daily, I would. I don't know how I would, but I, I would because he's just incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're watching Hutch, I know you're blushing, but it's okay. Anyway. But yeah, like that. Obviously, um, I don't know. That's that's what I like the most about my job, like getting to meet people that I admire or yeah. not admire, but necessarily like follow when it comes to comes to the streams. Now, the you, you started the same time, right? Like super, super young, like 2010. When, when was your first tournament that you attended? 2007. Damn. It's my first. I think tournament. that's when I started too. In 2000, when when Call of Duty 2 was out, I, I, I tried to make my first video. Oh, so really? like 2005, 2006. I know for a fact my first upload to YouTube was a graffiti video of me painting a train, and it was super like, I didn't know how to format files back then, so it was. Is the video like still on your channel? No. Or is it like unlisted? No. <laughs> I would love do you to have see it that. like si- yeah, me too. Like Why? If it, is it unlisted? It'd just be interesting. That's like yeah, so I have I have very footage. first video. Yeah, I, I My saw, first it's, video it's is a scoreboard of Mono Winfrey too. It's like a recording of a scoreboard, it's not even a picture. It's is so it is stupid. it is it like that guy's like, Oh, he's cheating, he threw a stun, <laughs> no, he threw a yeah, stun. I love then, that video. Yes, though. I love that video. One of my favorite uh, videos of all time. You know what I'm talking about? His mirrored in the Yeah, he's like wearing his underwear. Guys just see little little baby I don't think think so. so it's like oh this, this, this little like 12 year old kid it's playstation with like 3 just baby fat you, you yeah. know what i'm saying and he's wearing like you need blue to see underwear you never never seen that no, i don't think oh I've my seen god it. Put, Bro, his, use put, this on, put it on put it on <laughs> no, I'm it. you okay. have to i'll link you dude oh it's my so god funny. it's so good it's like but no it was like my friend because like i didn't so i was i was playing with a bunch of friends on modern warfare 2 right i played search and destroy like super hardcore nerd pub girl right yeah so one of my friends had just got the hd pvr which were like that was like that was like a Rolls Royce of capture cards back then. And I, I didn't have one, but I was like, they, they kept telling me to upload. And I was like, okay, well, I, I don't have a capture card. And so I got like, I went 18 and two on, frick, what's the one with the bridge on Model Warfare 2? It's like raining, there's a bridge. Underpass, that's what it's called. And oh, yeah. it it's literally, I was like, yo, record my scoreboard. I got to put it up because they were all telling me. And so I was like. So what is it? A five second video of yeah. the scoreboard? <laughs> literally. I, my very first ever upload is me joining Optic. I never uploaded a video, never recorded a video. It, I was, I was, I don't know what it was, but I was, I was looking at your original content, your, like your first pieces of content. Like when I was still in Maryland? No, when you were like when you first joined the Optic House and it was your birthday and you celebrated by yourself. Oh. Bro, Aww. you you legit had like genius. Well, you still do, I'm sure. But in those times, and it just brings it back to like everything in humanity. When you are, when you are, uh, when you're trying to make it, you have your best like possible. You know what I'm saying? Most creative yeah. ever. But then when you make it, you don't ever have that same magic back because. You just don't because you've made it. You've made you. You have the audience, and that's that. Like it happens all the time. Yeah, right? all the time. Like in it's super everything. hard to like remain like creative and like reinvent yourself, kind of on YouTube. I think it's hard. That's how. Am I the only one that like looks at Casey Neistat's videos and I'm like, like it's just not the same. And I feel like I don't know. If, Look, I won't say like I it's would, not the Casey I would, that we would never say that. 
I wouldn't. Yeah, look, I've noticed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I still watch every single one of his videos. Period. I just watch it because he's, you know, he's an interesting person. That I'm, I'm invested at this point. But yeah, yeah, you're right. It's it's not the same. Like and, if, and, it, if it happened, uh oh, just broke here. If it happens to Casey, it's gonna happen to everyone. Yeah. Or I'm interested in seeing anyway. like what he does with that three six eight studio. Like that's super interesting to me. But. Yeah, I don't know. I think everyone, like, especially to, like, viewers, whenever you, like, lock yourself in a box, they kind of, like, just expect that. Like, you'll see people from, like, the Modern Warfare 2 days or the Black Ops 2 days, like, they'll still be playing those old Call of Duties because yeah. that's what their viewers, like, it's like if you go out of that box, the viewers are, like, mad. They never want you. To, they just expect you to do that one thing you're good at forever. That's mine, too. I can't, like, I tried to branch out and play other games. I played Overwatch when it first came out because I just, like, competitive games i tried it i was pretty good at it too but my viewers were just like stop go back to cs yeah and i'm like they get okay mad. but it's it it's okay for me because i'm still really passionate about cs it'd be one thing if i was like okay this is what i have to do because it's where i get my viewers and i hate it but i love it i love it still i still um every time i get a clip every time i see myself improve it still feels good um but now everyone's just like why don't you play fortnite yeah. Because Fortnite sucks. It's well, a it's bad not, game. It's, it's Boom, true. toasted. It's not true. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> not true, so I can't. I can't relate. I respect the game, but I think I, that I think a lot more of these streamers are bored as heck with it than they're letting on. I understand I, it's fun. Are you? But it's I'm so bored of it. It's not. I'm on my like last stage right now to where I'm <laughs> playing like scrims. Like I'm like scrimming on Fortnite, like how our pro team scrims on Fortnite, like that's what it's come to. It's like you need that extra level of like something interest. competitive. I can't yeah. like I put it this way: me playing Fortnite it, and streaming it, it's like imagine a Call of Duty player streaming Call of Duty and just playing pubs all every single game. Yeah, it's just pubs. I told my brother yesterday. My brother has been in my office uh, for the past couple, like couple of weeks. He's helped me a ton, like build it. While yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna... excited to like come back. And yeah, see, cause it's is different. It different I, now. Yeah, or? I mean we're still missing a wall, and until this wall goes up, I can't unveil it because the wall is such a like main part of the of yeah, the whole it's thing. Yeah, like your space. Yeah. Anyway, we're playing, and you know I remember why I only play game battles matches, and I, yeah. I may win. I m majority of the time will lose. But I, it's I I'd rather lose playing a competitive match than fucking sit there. Same. Same. Then, then yeah. sit there uh, like it, it was a one v one at the end of the game, and the guy on my teammate is literally just doing the hand motions of of you know your avatar movements. Mm -hmm. Like he grabs the bottle and he's like the yeah. whole time, and I'm like, dude, just kill, just just uh, off yourself. And <laughs> I was gonna say kill yourself, kill yourself in game, dude. To be clear, end the round. End yeah. the, round. the round. Let's get going, please. I'm I'm like. I, I I'm impatient. I I don't like the way I died. I want to redo. Let's 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 move on another second. It kept on happening. I'm like, this is why I only play competitive like matches because, yeah. or at the beginning of every game, then that's when people try like, the hardest. Everyone's yeah. going for their gameplay. So everybody's going for you know, trying to learn the game, and they're trying their hardest to to win the game. That's why I feel like whenever Call of Duty comes out, I'll play it nonstop for like two three weeks, mm -hmm. just because I know everyone's trying hard as shit the first. Everyone wants to be super good and prove themselves. Yeah, Everyone wants like, to rank out, rank yeah. up, and you yeah. can't rank up unless you're beating somebody, and and that obviously helps too. So I, I guess that's why I don't like Fortnite as much, is because I don't see it as a a good competitive game. It's, it's not, definitely yeah. not in my mind. Something like, like League of Legends or Overwatch, <laughs> even Call of Duty, Counter Strike. I feel like that's a better competitive, just you know, game games. I played I mean, League. League was fun. These yeah. for. I was addicted to League, actually. I, yeah, I was I've too. heard it's addicting, so I was too afraid to play it. Counter-Strike is the same thing. Really That's why bad. I don't play it. it. Yeah, I mean, they're all different, but they're all good. Well, I think, I like, know, just... Like except for Like, a competitive... Fortnite. Well, it's, it's the that competition in Fortnite isn't, like... It's just you build a house, and then you live well, in it for a little bit, and then somebody blows it up. Well, it's that, but it's also, like, how they're running some of these tournaments. It's just, like, you're doing competitive matches in pubs like it doesn't make sense to me like yeah, why I are could they go on. not going against How each other? Did, go you, you tweeted something out right because you were upset at the uh, you know people were playing for life-changing money as you uh -huh. said in the tweet how much was the, the pricing like if you won how much did that single person get didn't like ninja and lupo get second and it's like 32k split between them or something like that okay so split between them i think so i, I might have read the tweet wrong 
That's well, a lot of money, though. That's yeah. like I mean, either, that's uh, that's every single weekend, too. Jackie and it's Boy's like been killing it. Jackson. Jack won like twelve thousand, yeah. and then somebody gave him seventy thousand to win. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I saw that that video. That's so crazy. Right? Mr. Be- Mr. Mr. Beast and, and uh, Miniminter. Yeah. He said he was so like. Like, cause I don't know if you guys watch the gameplay where he's getting it, but he's like in this house. He's, at, you know, in the odds of the fight, like he's down. And he was like, I was like, what were you thinking at that moment? He's like, I just lost seventy thousand dollars. I just lost seventy thousand dollars. And then like, I can't imagine like overcoming oh that God. feeling. I I do like like the the emotion that he had afterwards because you could yeah, like it was so Maybe real. Just, like, oh, he called yeah. his dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, I would I would have called my mom. And too. the game like, was like. N- the game was nuts too. Yeah, it was a good game. Just like how it ended, just so dramatic. Like whether whether it was a hundred and seventy thousand dollars or seventeen thousand dollars, I think that same sort of reaction would have came because of the the disadvantages he was in and still being able to yeah. it's like these two guys are pushing out to push this guy in the, the whole thing. But it's not necessarily a competitive game. Like just because that happened doesn't make it a competitive What is game. that? Let me see. What is that? That's <laughs> a phone case, dude. Is that it's crafted really broken. by like is that on Etsy? Like, yes. where do you really? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Their phone's w- just as bad as yours. Okay. That's so. Like, well, how do you hold that thing? How do you put it in your back pocket? Women don't have pockets. Ah. We have purses. Oh, true, true story. Um, you know, speaking of miniminter, it, it, it popped into my head. You know, part of the sidemen, sidemen, obviously, just put on a, a big fight Dude, show. Yeah, that was crazy. Mm. Did you watch? YouTuber fights. I bought it. I bought it too. I, and my friend bought asleep. it. I was at her house. Did you what? Oh, you were asleep? Did you guys see people like getting mad or like saying, I'm not buying that. Yeah. I watch it for free on Twitch. You're dumb if you don't watch them. It's like, dude, they're and they're like, they're saying, yeah, they're rich enough. I'm like, dude, there's a whole undercard. They like did all this stuff for it. Like, screw you for not paying $10. They're rich already. Like, and it's the, $10. Who cares? No, not, yeah. not that, but y- y- you don't understand the sort of disruptive mindset that that gives yeah like people are putting content and like work there's people and, like, there's cameramen there there's that they have to pay there's everything there that's setting it up like not not that but like from a from a disruptor stand standpoint youtube has been <laughs> disrupting you know mainstream media for the past like how, how how long right and and these are people that you watch on a daily basis that give you free um you know, free entertainment that you get to watch and the, the, what you pay is maybe watching an ad. Some people are assholes and they put ad blocker and, you know, it's like this guy's rich enough and, and, and this that, and the other. Um, but I bought it because of, of what it means for the space in which I'm a part of. Right. The, the, yeah. the, the new media sort of thing. Um, it makes people pay attention right now. If you don't know, there's there's uh, there's gray haired men, old, 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 out of touch men that work in big ad agencies that have relationships with newspapers, have relationships with billboard ad agencies and all this that. And, and that's all the, the where the money is going. It's ineffective. It, it affects the entire ecosystem. That is everything. Um, so when you don't help something that that you have helped built by being an audience, by being a viewer, you kind of. In a sense, you know, going against what you've been doing for the past couple of years, which is supporting, you know, su- supporting independent artists, essentially, in, in yeah. creating this. So I bought it because, you know, I had nothing to do with it. I just, I, 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 I know JJ. I know the, the Sideband guys. And when I say I know them, it's like, I, you know, we're, you know. Okay, like hung industry, out with them before yeah, yeah. and like, but you're cool. we're, we're not boys and shit, yeah. you know, but we, I still appreciate it. I, I don't really care about the the Paul brothers. Like I don't I don't know anything about them. I I does mean your, I, I know everything your, about them, but I don't. Does your opinion on the Paul brothers change after the fights? Because mine kind of did. Kind of. Uh, in which way? I didn't. Yeah. Like I was really not a hater or anything, but I was like I don't, literally don't care about these two kids at mm-hmm. all. Um, but then just like, I don't know. It takes a lot of like, even though it's like an amateur boxing fight, like it takes a lot of like guts to get in there and do that in yeah. front of everybody. Yeah. hundred percent. Like, mm-hmm. like everyone's like memeing. I think it was like Jake Paul's bloody nose and it's like he won the fight like you're gonna get a bloody nose in a fight like have you these people don't know what it takes to like get in there i guess and so look i, I don't want to say the word millennials then. but i'm gonna say it millennials damn millennials okay friendly fire um i i paid for it because of what i what it what it was doing it's the same thing that i told rob and, and his team of um the google squad the fishing guys yeah. that are cr- started creating fishing videos on youtube and i told them i'm like i told them two years ago I'm like, if if the trajectory of what you guys are doing right now continues to grow the way that it's growing and you guys all get to a million subs and you have more advertising power than, you know, whatever it is out there, you guys are going to disrupt the fishing industry. And sure as 
sure as heck, they did that. They sell more fishing rods. They sell more fishing uh, baits. They sell more. They sell more fishing reels than any professional fisherman out there. I'm talking what? about. I'm talking about they sell out when they do a meetup. Thirty five hundred people show up, no matter what? where it's at. Okay, and it's they sell out in people. seconds. They sold, I think. I don't know. Actually, I'm not going to say the, the number, but it was a lot of baits. They sold out in baits. They sold out for six months. Okay. People that, that have been in the fishing industry for years have not been able to do that. So this is the space that we live in right now. This is the pay. Uh, the, I mean, think about what we've done in esports, right? Think about how traditional sports are coming into the space and investing into the space because they see that this is the new media way. Like so the new influence, basically. So very proudly, I, I paid you know, for, for it because of what it is and not necessarily, you know, did you else. like care who won? I didn't care yeah. who won any of the fights, yeah. but I just wanted to watch something entertaining. Um, I think the, in, in my opinion, the biggest, the biggest win that night was Deji, you know, because yeah. you, we, we were texting yeah, back we and forth. Like, we had like yeah. the opt-in we were like, group He's chat done. was like talking about sleeping. it and we huh? were like, Oh, you saw it afterwards? <coughs> the, the text chat? Yeah. yeah I'm talking chat. like beforehand. People were like, yeah, Deji's gonna get knocked out. Or That's something. what we were saying. We were like, he looks shook. Yeah, yeah he was. He he did. He he looked like he didn't want to be there. But I think yeah, I think the the biggest win that night was Deji for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, he did pretty good. I thought also the scarce thing was really interesting. I wasn't expecting that. He like lost hundred pounds of weight and yeah, like I, mean, I didn't know who it was. What John scares? No, I, no, I he mean, didn't know who, oh, what he saw. Yeah. I was like, how do you not know scare? No, of course I know. Scare. Yeah, I was gonna say, but yeah, I like at first I saw the weigh in pictures. I was like, holy shit, that is him. So, or sorry, can I swear? Yeah, good, <laughs> good for him. Good for him, right? Like this, this yeah. fight did more for him than anything else would have, right? Like you, you can make. Uh, an, an incredible living but you know your health is number one and and yeah. he got healthy healthy you know yeah, so like good for him healthy. um what did you think of the fight Which, well, like well the, worth fi the finale or just the just whole just in general like i really liked it like i mean i thought that in between the boxing matches was dumb i guess like the rapper oh, yeah, and the, the rapper. soccer ball guy or the football guy yeah yeah, yeah. and like that was kind of lame but the actual fights i mean i like you know me I, we like bond kind of a little mm -hmm. bit over mma so like i've like watched fights before so i didn't think it was like spectacular in that fashion but i really like just competition i like watching competition and they're trying like you know they're trying their hardest yeah. i didn't i don't know i didn't think it was a tie but I didn't think it was a tie either. Like, actually though, Who did won? you see the stats? Nope, it was a tie. It was a tie. I the know, finale was a tie. So now Who actually won? You haven't watched it? Uh -uh. Did you see the stats think. afterwards? I need to watch the, like that. the significant straight stats is pretty heavily in Logan's favor. In Logan's favor. The other thing, uh, what, what I will say is like even a fight before that, there was um there was this dude in the red and a dude in, in black shorts. Yeah. Um and the the guy that seemed more fluid with his punches, right? Like he knew how to throw them versus the guy that, that was doing yeah. you know they did it like those pushing instead of yeah those pushing his punches instead of throwing his punches like the guy that was that didn't know how to fight essentially was the one that ended up winning because of the amount of pressure that he was applying on the uh, to the other dude who was yeah. a little bit more fluid and knew what what he was doing which was like mind-blowing to me because if he would just he was a better better swinger in my opinion mm -hmm. um anyway overall i think i think that the the results for what they're worth look i think for ten dollars i think it was well worth it simply oh, sim sure. simply because I watched the entire time and I felt something. I felt like a pit in my stomach uh, as if, you know, like my, excitement, as like. if the Call of Duty team was about to lose. You Shit. know what I'm saying? Like that. That's how it felt. Uh, and, and I didn't know when Deji was up there. I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm thinking the amount of uh, eyeballs that these people have on them. And, and it means that much more because your sort of reputation mm -hmm. as outdated as it is. Sometimes manhood is the, you know, it is it, sometimes viewed as, you know, who wins a fight, you know, who's who wins in a sporting event. It takes a lot to, like, go out and fight in front of everybody. Too, Nothing like. but respect for every single one of those people, winners or losers. At least you stepped up to the plate yeah. while the majority of the people watching would just cower away behind mm -hmm. a screen yeah. and a keyboard. Like nobody has like know. the attention span. Don't that like amount do of it. Um, that Do amount of fight? money should, should I don't me know. and Sheila fight. On the undercard, I yes, would murder probably. you. Okay. So I feel <laughs> bad about that. But what, do you think you think you could beat her I'm up? Scrappy, but yeah. I, I mean, she's probably fast. Me versus Hitch. Dude, one punch Set to the up. temple and she's toasted, dude. I don't know. You're both. Know. You're both very athletic. 
I think you're more more athletic than he is, but he is like athletic and he's a little bit stockier. Your, but your I feel tweet like if we killed could, me. What? A lot of your like little muffin body uh, or whatever. I saw a hit say something dumb, and I'm yeah, I had to say something. <laughs> had to fire back. But that'd be fun. I would I would love to like train for how long they train for like six months. Yeah. Like no, six weeks. It's six, six weeks, weeks of like hard, hard training. Just but six like weeks. You they, have they've to be had in this shape. plan for like eight months. You have to be in shape, right? Like Logan was in really good shape. Yeah. Like but well, you they still gassed like, out really hard, it seemed like. Really? Yeah, it seemed like you did. You probably had more like strength training yeah, and not like yeah. cardio. And, like, yeah. I, I I hated the people. I, I still hate the people that were like just super, super. No offense, right? Super. What? I don't hate Why you. Why are you looking at me? No, no, no. What, what uh, it's said? like there was people like um, I'm not gonna call their names, but people that I follow were like I'm not watching that trash. <laughs> like they're above like, it. Like, <laughs> like shut up! Don't fucking watch it. Yeah. No one cares about your opinion. Yeah. You know, like do I tweet out? I'm never going to crush Taco again. Yeah. No, no one gives a shit. Like I hate okay? when people don't let you enjoy something. Yeah, like, like I can't let believe people 500 like idiots things. are watching this. Did you put that tweet? Though? No. Oh, I okay, said that I was, I was, I it was cringy, but I'm still going to watch it. It is. It's like a car wreck. Was like, it yeah. cringy? I it, didn't think it was cringy some, at all. It was the, a little bit. Like, did you see the one guy that was just started dancing in the middle yeah, of the ring? That was cringy. Like, like, there is some parts of it that were I just like, like not that. taken Do you super know seriously. My, which is like, I understand they're not professional my fighters. My favorite but, like, part w- of the whole night was Logan and Jake's outfits when they walked out. They looked like like a it was, they were like a dollar so store Bane, but like cool. I like them. I like it the outfits. It looks cool. It is yeah, I would have worn those like same F outfits. Jake Paul, the like, F. Jake Paul yeah, I chain. That was funny. Um, I love that stuff, though. I love like corny stuff like that. I, I didn't think it was cringe, personally. You know, they were fighting. People were fighting. What, like, literal getting bloodied up. Um, I mean, that wasn't really my, what I was like. No, yeah. I think the, the, like, I don't know. After one of the fights, like, one of the fighters went up to Joe Weller, the announcer yeah. who just fought previously. And, yeah. like, they had this stupid, th- that's cringe. Like, a little bit. Them yeah. yelling at each other like that. Say that is super cringe but the fights themselves weren't too i mean it was amateur boxing so yeah, i'm glad that it's boxing and not mma oh that would have been horrible that would have been so boring. they would have laid on each yeah, other yeah oh my god it would have been so boring so i so don't know 100 percent boring they won- not only that but face sensei has no business anywhere near yeah. there. this guy's a legit professional killer yeah, yeah. but didn't he box someone yeah, he did. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you he's know. fought in MMA. Was well, it what's, bad? The, what's, the, what's that guy's name? I know. His, I met him in person. I've said hello to him. He's a cool ass. Sensei's dude. real name? No, not Sensei. The, the guy they fought. Overflow. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, super cool. Uh, I think he he was trained. He is in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay, so, so he's like a purple brown. Yeah, boxer. it's like that dude obviously stepped up to the plate and fought. But man, Sensei is like a legit. Like you don't. Did he get messed up? No. Who? No, Sensei. No, sensei messed him up. Sensei rocked him. Yeah, rocked him. No, he did. Did anyone get knocked out? No. no. Not knocked out, but he like got knocked out. Oh, he did. He got TKO'd. But not a body like shot. knocked out. Yeah, body shot. Bro, it's just the amount of power. Like, you can tell when someone knows how to fight, and Sensei is like a professional fighter. Mm. Just by the way, the sound of the gloves hitting this dude's body was just like, like I was like, Oh my god! Yeah. And I started thinking about my current body state, and I'm like, <laughs> I would not be okay with that. My stomach would not be like cool with with any of that. Um, so I'm gonna fight Sheila. You're gonna fight Davis. Who are you fighting? No one. Literally no. No one. one no one. I, I decided in 2001 that I was never ever gonna fight anyone again. Anyway, um, I think he has something. No, hiding. no, I don't. No, I don't. Anyway, so. Overall, I think that the, it was good. I mean, the sidemen have always been like a step above everybody else when it comes to that game that came from the gaming community as, yeah. as that. Because I remember they, like back in Modern Warfare 2, like they were on the come up. Yeah. Like th- think KSI about think was. about. Yeah. Well, KSI always has always been FIFA. And it's always been hilarious. Right. And then his brothers started doing that. But I think about Zerka, for example, who was yeah. a Call of Duty sniper. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, right? and then he like became part of the sidemen and be- uh, incredible. They sold out twice already a stadium to play the YouTuber soccer match. Yeah. Right? And then they, they set a record for independent um what was it for amateur football viewing whatever. Uh they sold the stadium, I think it was Wim- Wimbley. It maybe went, yeah. And then the amount of people that are watching it from home like a million people. And then they did it again. And then they were the first people to do boxing. Like what's next? 
You know, they did movies. KSI has been in a couple of movies. KSI was the first one to be a rapper, I guess. On, on well, I guess Tabe was the first one to do uh, from a YouTube, from a gaming YouTuber standpoint. I think I think Tabe was the first one to. Tabe was in a movie too, wasn't he? In like Ghost Rider. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost Rider. Yeah, but That's you know, crazy. Uh, you you cannot do anything but be super sort of proud to be in the same sort of field that these very talented and forward-thinking people are and and whether the fight was real or not i'm not gonna you know i was entertained i know that there's another one coming and that is yeah. more genius than just throwing a fight the way that it was thrown yeah you know, from from well, that. like did you see that it like leaked that their contract yeah was out so it, it was like predetermined before the first fight that there would be a la fight too yeah well that makes had, sense yeah it has to make sense when well, the uk one over here i'm gonna go to this one 100 percent I'm gonna be there, front row, front mink row. suit, <laughs> screaming, trying to go. Wait, when, where? No way, we know when. It's in LA, but we gotta wear mink suits and sit all the way in the front. All right, you got my mink. Yeah, you got the seats. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mink on <found> a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, overall, I like the Paul brother thing. Like, I don't, I, I couldn't give a shit less. You know, it, it's I, I not my business. It's, yeah. the, it's the way that I always like. You know, I don't, I don't have an. I never cared that much. Like I'm, I'll be like, yeah, I don't really like them, but I wouldn't like tweet like these Paul brothers are destroying YouTube. Yeah. Like. I mean, well, I understand the repercussions. That true. Yeah, they kind of did. You know, I, I, I understand the repercussions of that, right? It brings YouTube negative light. Um, sponsors don't want to sponsor bullshit like that. Yeah. I get it. I get. I get that. But you know, to ha- to to sort of have an opinion that deep about it is just not something that that I'm about. Word. Period. Anyway, it's haters, taters, haters, haters make me greater. I'm a no. hater because haters I hate, hate haters. Paul brothers. Who's gonna be? Oh, you know what? I was yeah. just. Am I a hater if I hate the haters? Yes. So I guess I hate too. I love the haters. I just saw on Twitter the other day. I was like, Am I a complainer if I complain about people complaining on Twitter? Yes. <laughs> I I used to say that all the time in Halo because so I was a com- yeah well no I'm co- like there's some people that just like I follow they're always just saying something negative or complaining about something in their life and I'm like uh, bro so I complain about them and now I'm like oh my god I'm one of them like what's happening me and Halo I complained so much and then people would complain about me complaining and it would piss me off because I'd be like you complain more about me complaining than I complain. We never and got that's to how the, I talk to my teammates. Speak, speaking of that, and, and, and we, we never got to the point on the Fortnite thing, because that's what we do in this podcast. We start out talking about something, and then we go on this, like, 30-minute rager. Yeah. No, well, we didn't, though. But you tweeted out oh, about, yeah, yeah. you know, like, how are they picking these people? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, like, the same people every – and, obviously, Ninja's going to be the, in there. Of course. Jack, Tfue. Of course, of course. Those type of players. But then there's so many, like – just people where i'm like how are they in there and not and me are you talking about like people's partners or I, like I feel like i definitely should have been in one of the weeks um why because like i said on twitter i had the kill record at one point i had the most World kills in sc- i had the most kills in the squad i at that point i was streaming a shit ton mm-hmm. um just there was like no reason I wasn't in one of those. Yeah. Um, but it's just like so much money being given to. Not I, to I know, not no, no, I know, I know exactly what you're saying. And look, it, even if you weren't an optic, I would, I would say the same thing. You had the 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 kill record, like you just said, everything that you just said, you had. It would have been, you know, it would have made sense for for like you to be like active, that. Like yeah. an active, like skilled community member, and that yeah. seems to be what they're inviting. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I, I, I don't. Well, no, I would, I would see people that were like, like you can just tell a lot of people would get invited just because they know someone. Like me. Yeah. You're thanks for the help. Me? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, look, it, it's always gonna be a little bit of that and a little bit of of everything else, in 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 my opinion. But not only that, like a lot of like not known pros, I guess, didn't get invited. Mm-hmm. Like another thing for me is how long have like they're inv- investing all this money? Mm-hmm. There have, there has yet to be one single tournament with like just skill based. It's yeah. always entertainment, always. Mm-hmm 
creators always just what can get them the most views they have yet to do one thing for esports that's what i was gonna ask too like why are they screaming if there's no like non-pub competitions like i thought when they announced that big like, well there's like a tournament and packs coming up oh, so people but, like they didn't tell them about that right it was just like i hope you have tickets to packs because we have a tournament there right, look just, yeah, and even just the like, packs thing is like another random look just like in game the the rand the RNG, RNG is RNG RL, you know that is Fortnite. That is Fortnite, and and look, coming from a mentality that literally built what we built based solely on entertainment, I don't see any other way to to create something that entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Because people follow storylines more than anything else. People follow personalities more than anything else. The reason that Call of Duty blew up the way it did is because we had the Natchez, the Scumpies that, you know, had the antagonized, the antagonizers, the antagonists, the Aches, the Crim Sixes, the Claysters when they when when they were battling against each other. Nobody gave a shit about feel- any, you know, like in in the very early days, like there were professional players that were amazing and incredible, but it wasn't until the personalities and, and and people started to care about them individually that that it really blew up to where it was. And if in if in my in, in my opinion, if Fortnite is to ever become a an esport or considered an esport like anything else, I I love the fact that they're spending a year and that they're investing a hundred million dollars into building a sort of platform or launching pad for what the future of esports is going to because this is going to be the last time they do this right yeah. next year maybe now that they've generated enough attention to it and let's just say this let me, let, me, let me pitch something to you okay and then you tell me if i'm wrong let's call this the summer skirmish is what it's called right okay mm-hmm. let's say i'm i, I have a uh, hundred million dollars and i have access to one of the to the most popular personalities in gaming entertainment right now and what I'm doing by using them in the summer skirmish is promoting the term summer skirmish. So everybody that's a fan of Ninja and everybody that's a fan of Dr. Lupo, everybody that's a fan of Jackie, everybody's a fan of, of these people that are that are massive within the space are all feeding this thing called the summer skirmish. Next year, they don't invite any other pro or any other, other personalities, but they still say the word summer skirmish. Only pro players. What do you think that's going to do for everybody that has that ingrained in their head? Everyone in the chat is going to say, where's Ninja? Where's Who's this guy? Yeah, for how who's long? That's what he's saying. I think like it'd be a cool know. to mix I don't know if I'd see it now. working. I, 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 unfortunately, in my opinion, what, what Fortnite has done is it has made me want a world where entertainers and professional players team up against other professionals and entertainers. It's the same thing that happened with uh, fantasy football. I no, I was no longer a fan of the Bears because I wanted, you know, Aaron Rodgers to do well. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> exactly, because I wanted my fantasy football team to be better. I think that that's exactly what's happening right now. For better or for worse, is working. Yeah. All right, let's move on for Fortnite. Did, Unless you have, uh, you were about to say oh, something. No, you were about to say something. Say it. Say it. No, I was one top of no, right before that, like 10 minutes, 10 seconds ago. 10 no, minutes ago. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 10 minutes since I saw you wanted to say something, but I still chose to continue <laughs> no, no, to talk okay. over you. Uh, it can do its thing. It's growing people who play video games. It's growing the normies are understanding that video games are something that's not just like a waste of time. People can make money doing it. People can get, you know, ad revenue, just anything. It's It's growing... Video games, yeah, it in, definitely into is. like mainstreaming it. M- mainstream, which some people might think is not a good thing, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's an industry that we want to grow to be better for us. So, well, because you never know, like, what if some kid starts playing Fortnite and then like takes the path that like people like you and me took, where we've been gaming our whole life, and turn it into this like thing. I wrote down. I uh, talk about mainstream. Obviously, with the unfortunate, you know, events that happened. A day before yesterday? Yeah. Or was it yesterday? A couple of days a ago. A couple of days ago. The, I, I, I made it a point to... I, I made it a point to, to, to really pay attention to how many mainstream outlets were... were playing... were politicizing the, the, the unfortunate events as video games causing violence, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. This was a Madden tournament. Like a sports yeah. game. But even if it wasn't, I feel like it's still messed up to write that. 
like even if it was like a call of duty event god forbid yeah like i can't believe that that's even the pathway when there's so many like so much research and like stuff that's been done to prove that that's not it and i don't know it's just super complicated I, I i hate when they they do it with everything but they politicize like yeah anything i i it it, it touched home so much that a yeah. friend of mine called me and said yo you're good and i was in a meeting and i'm not picking up i was and and, and he calls me twice three times and he calls me and i'm like i'm like what's up man he's like he's like yo are you okay and i'm like yeah like what what he's like he's like oh you're not at that at that at that place where they got shot up yeah and I'm like, you're like gaming I'm like, event. what are you talking about you immediately you? like went and saw it and i was just like mind blown i'm like my goodness and then to find out that it was a competitor, and then just today I found out that, or I read that he, I found out as if I did the research, I, I read <laughs> that he had or, he had been admitted, I think twice before yeah. for like mental health yeah, issues. Yeah, for ma- mental health and issues. And he had legal, legally acquired guns. Yeah. I don't know how he got him there though, because wasn't he from Baltimore? Like, can you travel with a gun? Is that I a mean, thing? Well, are you, I, you, on I mean, a flight. You, oh, on a can flight. you travel with? Maybe you know, he drove. Can you travel know. with like fifty pounds of? Uh, whatever drug from state to no. state yes you can it's, it's just illegal you know like it's 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 the thing the other thing is that the amount of people both from left right liberal and 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 all these like the amount of people that are saying it's like we we have a gun control problem the right is going to be like oh you're just trying to take our guns away and then the left's going to be like well no it doesn't matter we we need stricter laws not to take shit away i love guns i have guns i shoot yeah. guns that's i like guns too i you know I, the, one of the reasons i moved to texas is that i get to be near my friend rob who also loves to shoot guns and and fish all right i i, I like that i i'm not i'm not for people taking away people's guns but there there should be stricter tests and rules and 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 sort of i agree uh what, what do you call those uh like restrictions regulations yeah laws. as to who can and cannot have a gun you know obviously if you go to a place like chicago right where 73 people were killed in a weekend you know it's it's super the, 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 this is what i the, what i hate the most about the hypocrisy that you know Latino communities and black communities and, and people that feel disenfranchised and they say that, you know, yes, cops have at times shot at the wrong time, right? But where are the protests when your kids are killing other people's kids in your own communities? Where are those fucking protests? Yeah. When can I go march for, you know, disagreeing with us killing us nonstop? Why do we only make a big deal when it's a cop that's that's doing this? Like, 73 yeah. fucking people in Chicago murdered? Like, it, that that needs help like immediately right yeah, yeah. and obviously getting 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 back to the to the obviously the the, the stupidity that, that the media and i had a text from somebody who i've spoken to years ago about you know video games in a, in a news thing he's like hey it's this from channel whatever we spoke a couple of years ago about what? this uh do you want to comment on the situation i'm gonna get i was like wrong number right because i didn't want i didn't want to explain yeah. you know to them you know what what uh what the problems that are and, and sure enough you know people are saying you know video games cause violence video games cause violence and and it's and it's so stupid imagine if it would have been a game like Fortnite. imagine if because it, it could have happened anywhere yeah right and it hit cl- so close to home that i was just like so like angry by the fact man yeah, i didn't like look into it that much but i saw a picture a thing on twitter i don't know if they were at like the hospital or something but um, I guess someone who got shot, I think they're at the hospital. Yeah. Like his friends were around him. And I saw someone with like an Echo Fox jersey. And I was like, that really made it, like it was like, that could have been like a Call of Duty event where like, you know, you yeah. I see my friends there and one, one of them still wearing their jersey because they were just competing. Yeah, it's so bad, it really man. just, it's I bad. guess, it's, hit it's, home. It's, it's the, the, the mental issue, mental health issue. Obviously, the more we need... I think more it's both sides need to change. Like there should be more of a, like I guess details as far as mental health goes, and like giving people resources for that. But then also maybe, they, I don't know. The the right seems to think like they're gonna take everything. Like give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Like yeah. I just really think that restrictions could possibly help. I Even mean, what do I know? Restrictions about? and just like if you're holding an event, make sure that these things don't happen. Like yeah. if you can't control everything in the u.s as much as we should try to change 
things for the better. Like if you can't control something, control what you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure there's security at events. Make sure you're checking people's yep. bags and making sure even the players and like the staff members aren't bringing in anything. Like it's, I mean, it's harder. It's gonna, you know, that people are gonna have to pay more money to do these things to get more security mm -hmm. guards. But I mean, it's at the cost of someone's life. When I, when I hear pro players complain about having to check their bags or not being able to bring their backpacks in and it's only having like, I, I get mad. Because I'm like, yo, this is for your safety. And and like MLG does a really, really good job at, at, at security. Yeah. They always have. Like they they, this, they have this one dude. I'm, I won't say his name because I don't know if he wants to be known. But they have this one dude that has been there for since the beginning of time. I've seen this dude since 2010 at every single – he's the head of security. I've seen him at every single one of these events. But you can only prevent so much. This dude was a player, right? This dude was a player that – went back out to his car and, and, and it's just not the answer I, in my too is like it seemed like it was like a small like land center so it's maybe that's just the other thing it was it was like in a mall yeah it was like a really small event but still like i don't know it's I, when stuff like this happens it just makes you think oh well he should have just done this like it's it's so much harder than that but i think now every like event holder or whoever's in yeah. charge of the event is gonna like step it up well the the, the it, there's, there's really no positive like thing that can come from such a tragedy the, the the one thing that we may be able to do from here on out is like obviously like us as as in the space that we're working as gamers as esports as as gaming personalities like and and the audience that watches us daily we are numbers that have never been seen before in any other uh, sort of community, right? So yeah. if we use those numbers in a positive way, the youth uses those these these the sort of community to make change all the way up top to the gray hair, disconnected fools that are turning everything into a fucking debate. Hopefully, like something positive can come from that. Because my God, are these old people just fucking old and disconnected? Yeah. I I as an old person, well, say my old person, like I, I the, the shit that I see on the news is just way. The More term Joe Rogan uses is they're just outdated. Like uh, the way they think yeah. is outdated. No. And, and it, it, it's disgusting. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, I think that's a, that's a note that we should end it on. Uh, I think we had a very passionate podcast today. Yeah, had a fun, good. fun and serious the way that I like it. So GG's in the chat. Yeah, with that, uh, Sheila, please don't let this be the last time that you stop by. When are you moving down here, up here? Uh, whenever my lease is up in February. So. Awesome. Cool. So we expect to see you in Optic Place and oh, yeah. everything. Cool. Sweet. Nick, thank you for waking up in time. Mm -hmm. Did you fix your sleeping schedule finally? I mean, I guess today I'm ready to, ready to go. Right. Ready to ruin it. Awesome. All, All right. We'll see again. you guys on the next one. Thank you for stopping by. Ashley, good job. Peace out.